Though our leaders are silent, let the youth be heard. Today, we're here in front of the federal courthouse in Eugene, Oregon, and we're here today because we were rallying because of the government filed an administrative stay. In 2015, 21 young plaintiffs filed a lawsuit against the federal government demanding that they be held accountable for their actions that have created the climate crisis that we are facing currently. Right now, we have seen time and time again that the Trump administration, uh, the defendants in this lawsuit, have dodged our opportunity to go to trial. It has now been on pause again, waiting for a decision from the, from the Supreme Court um, to hopefully do us justice and give us our day in trial. We rallied today. There were hundreds and hundreds of young people that streamed in. Locally, there were uh, dozens of support events that happened across the country uh, and all over the world, actually, of, of, of other youth standing in solidarity with the work that we're doing right here around this lawsuit. And it's a beautiful thing. We're seeing young people resisting and fighting back to protect our future. I've been a part of this lawsuit since I was eight. But what we're suing for, we're not suing for money. We're suing because we want the U.S. government to file an, um, a climate recovery plan. In this lawsuit, we are demanding that the federal government put a climate recovery plan into place that we are working with some of the top climate scientists in the world to craft this prescription for a climate recovery plan to massively reduce our greenhouse gas emissions um, and pull the United States' contribution to our climate crisis um, pretty much entirely out of the equation so we can really know that we are doing as much as we possibly can and set a new precedent for all polluting nations in the world to take further and more powerful action. This is not about money for us, this is about change. This is about systemic change at a political level being enforced by our justice system in a world where our politicians are not representing our voices, are not even acknowledging the reality of climate change in many cases, and are, doing, are going in the exact opposite direction of where we need to go for the future of the planet. This event was a sustainable event. All the sound system was powered by bicycle power. I think we're going to see more and more in the future that people are interested in adopting and putting in place the actual literal solutions when we're out here. So I was pedaling a bike up there because they're using it, it um, basically is bike power, at pe well, as they call it, pedal power. Um, but we're pedaling the bike and that um, powers all the microphones. Now more than ever, our voices, our passion is needed, especially as young people. For us, it's not about fitting into a box of what it looks like to create change or be an activist. For me, as a hip hop artist, using my platform, touring, playing stages, recording in the studio, using that platform to engage in creating and inspiring change has been the most powerful way for me to use my voice. For young people and all people across the world, whether it's entrepreneurship or filmmaking or art or hip hop, you have your own way that you touch the world. Use that to create and influence impact. For us, it's about our future. It's about the love. You know, we're doing this for for unselfish reasons, you know, we're sacrificing and putting a lot of time and hard energy into this. So, you know, play your part, do your thing, and whatever it is that causes you to engage in the world, use that to fight for change.